If you're looking to pack a bag, hop on a plane and start over, well, you'd have to wait a little while, but you can start making plans in the interim with our 10 countries that offer you the best opportunities. Countries that are forward-looking, forward-thinking, and offer their citizens a free and fair society. Granted, not every country will tick every box with 100%, but they are miles ahead of other countries. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. If you're not subscribed yet, you're missing out. On our list, there is a tiny country that's been credited with the invention of gin, another where the Chancellor has a Barbie made in her image, and one who claims that Santa Claus is from their country. Let's get to counting, Aluxers. Number 10. Denmark it's long been high on the list as one of the happiest countries in the world, and there are many reasons why the Danish are ranked as being so cheerful. For starters, Denmark earned the top spot in 2020 for the best place for women to live. In Denmark, gender equality was rated 9.6, safety scored 9.8, income equality was 9.2, progress didn't quite match up at 7.9, but human rights was high at 9.8. Soft factors play a role in happiness, like culture, family life, and leisure time. Denmark isn't the biggest place, so it's easy to get the best of a bustling city life and gorgeous landscapes. You're also never more than 50 kilometers from the ocean, and you can cycle pretty much anywhere because the country is so flat. There is free education and healthcare, excellent cycling and driving infrastructure, a reliable public transport system, stunning parks and open areas, and the perfect balance between home and work life. The only snag about living in Denmark is that the Scandinavian language is hard to learn, and just to add to its complexity, they have three additional letters. But like anything Aluxers, practice makes perfect. On a side note, Sweden and Norway also continuously make top 10 lists of the best countries to live in. We chose Denmark because of their joyful attitude and ample opportunity. Number 9. Singapore Convenient, safe, and clean are three perfect words to describe life in Singapore. We've long been led to believe that chewing gum is illegal in Singapore, but it's not. It's just illegal to import it and sell it. You could be fined up to $100,000 for selling chewing gum in Singapore. Singapore is home to over 5 million people, and there are five languages spoken in the country. English, Mandarin, Singlish, Malay, and Tamil. U.S. News & World Report took data gathered from over 20,000 people to compile a list of the top 50 countries to live in, and Singapore made the list. Nine factors were considered. Adventure, citizenship, cultural influence, heritage, entrepreneurship, movers, open for business, power, and quality of life. Singapore scored very high in cultural influence, movers, and open for business categories. And if you're planning on heading to Singapore to find some work, here's a golden nugget of advice from those who've done that journey. It's not easy to just walk into a job in Singapore, but rather to arrange interviews and have a game plan before you arrive. Once you've got your interviews lined up, make sure you do your research on the company and arrive with why you're the perfect match for that specific job. If you do that, then opportunities will be available to you. For great tips on how to ace that job interview, be sure to watch our video, 15 Tips to Crush an Interview. Number 8. The Netherlands This country has more bicycles than it does people. Each person owns an average of 1.3 bicycles as there are currently over 17 million people in the Netherlands and over 22.5 million bicycles. The Dutch constitution has a legal ban on discrimination. Citizens enjoy freedom of religion, freedom of association, freedom of speech, and the right to privacy. The Netherlands has a well-developed public education system, well-developed public health system, and is politically stable and very safe. The country performs well in its transparent government practices, gender equality received a score of 97.6%, and in the caring for human rights category, they scored 100%. The Netherlands isn't just about cheese, tulips, and windmills. They're also known for their liberal outlook on drugs, prostitution, euthanasia, and abortion. They're also the first country in the world to legalize same-sex marriage. It's also the place of origin of one of our most beloved beverages, gin. Cheers to that. Number 7. The United States of America Land of the free and home of the brave. We get it, Aluxers. Things are quite tumultuous in the U.S. at the moment. But to be fair, B.C. or before COVID, things were fairly stable for the country. Since 1871, the U.S. has had the world's largest economy. 
Reasons behind this title are that the U.S. economy makes up almost a quarter of the global economy thanks to advanced infrastructure, technology, and access to natural resources. The U.S. fared well in the entrepreneurship category, with an overall rating of 93.4%, easy access to capital scored 100%, and their connectedness to the rest of the world was also at 100%. They have strong international alliances and are economically and politically influential. With a good education system in place and a fairly high score for medical care, the U.S. lost points on racial tensions, income equality, and views on gun ownership and violence. If Lucas Miller from Wisconsin had gotten his way in 1893, the USA would have been known as the United States of the Earth. He envisioned a union of every nation on Earth, which would ultimately make this list null and void. Number 6. The United Kingdom much like the USA, the UK, BC, before COVID, was doing same-ish, showk okay ish Sure, Brexit was a big deal, and sure, Megxit was pretty exciting, and now there's the Prince Andrew scandal and the latest development highlighting his connection with Ghislaine Maxwell. But none of those things played a hugely influential role in the UK, still performing well in countries with the biggest opportunities, and here's why. An overall score of 92.6 is what the UK achieved, and factors that pushed its rating so high included gender equality, respects of property rights, well-distributed political power at 89.5%, religious freedom, and cares about human rights, education, connectedness, well-developed legal frameworks, and well-developed infrastructure also played a role. The NHS is a huge bonus for people. People also have more free time at the office, and not to mention the UK has far better tea, and any tea drinker knows that a good kappa solves everything. Number 5. Australia Welcome to the land down under, a country with high life expectancy and a parliamentary democracy government quite like the UK. Australia is a very attractive option for those looking to immigrate. The country has a lot to offer its citizens and scores 95.3% in overall rankings. The country's unemployment rate is very low, which means there are enough job opportunities. It's safe, they have a great education system in place, it's multicultural and supports gender equality. Unfortunately, it ranked quite low in income equality, but its healthcare system and political stability helped to raise the overall score considerably. Head over to Australia, throw a shrimp on the barbie and enjoy some great weather, and have a cold one for the road before heading over to our next country with big opportunities. Number 4. Germany not many leaders can claim to have a Barbie doll named after them, but to celebrate their 50th birthday and Germany's first female chancellor, Mattel released an Angela Merkel doll in 2009. An overall ranking of 96.5 is what Germany scored, with its entrepreneurship garnering 100%, another 100% rating for its legal framework, and 100% for its educated population. The country is economically influential, has strong international alliances, and is economically stable. All factors to consider when looking for a country with big opportunities. The health system and public education system are excellent, and new parents get great social benefits. And we're not going to lie, the fact you're flanked by nine different borders is kind of fantastic because you can travel so easily from Germany. And of course, the golden brew with a foamy head is enough to have you raise your glass and say, Prost! Number 3. Japan Scoring an incredible 97.9%, .9%, Japan hits our number 3 spot of countries with the biggest opportunities. So, what makes Japan extra special? Well, let's look at the figures. They score tremendously high in many areas. They scored a 100% for being progressive, 100% for educated population, 100% for innovation, and 100% for technical expertise. Japan is economically stable, they have a particularly good job market, and crime is low. Now, Aluxers, we're aware this is very subjective, but many foreigners claim they never really feel like they quite fit in, regardless of how long they've been living there for. And although it's relatively easy to find work, it's usually a menial job meant for foreigners who are not going to be staying in the country for a long time. Now, our next country claims that Santa Claus is from there, and he was declared an official citizen in 2008. Number 2. Canada in 2008, the Canadian immigration minister confirmed that Santa Claus was indeed Canadian, but we think Canadians knew that all along. So we won't keep you waiting. The overall score for Canada was 99.4%, which makes you wonder where they went wrong. 
Areas like adventure, great food, a rich heritage, and overall affordability is what brought the score down. But when a country is scoring high in areas like a good job market, economy stability, and well-developed health and education systems, politically stable, great for families, safe for women, religious freedoms, and supportive of LGBTQ rights, then it's easier to forget about the minor factors that brought the score down. Plus, we have Canada to thank for the likes of Celine Dion, Rush, Sarah McLaughlin, and of course, Justin Bieber. Number 1. Switzerland Said to be an expat's dream, Switzerland is often number one on the list of the best places to live, work, settle, raise a family, and be happy. It's not too much to ask for, is it, Alexers? This neutral country is multicultural. They care for the environment and are all about gender equality, great education, and of course, it's very, very safe. Besides incredible chocolate, gorgeous Alps, and Swiss watches, Switzerland is great for work opportunities in the following sectors. Engineering, financial services, IT, and pharmaceuticals. They're also high in demand in the hospitality industry, with overall higher salaries and lower taxes. It's a country that attracts a lot of people. It's diverse, family-friendly, safe, clean, and stable, so it's no wonder it takes our number one spot. Now, Alexers, if you could select one of these countries to settle down in, which would it be and why? We would love to hear from you in the comments. And of course, for sticking with us until the end, here's your bonus. Although New Zealand didn't make the list of our top 10, this dynamic country is making headlines for all the right reasons. The 40th Prime Minister is Jacinda Ardern, and she became the youngest female head of government at the age of 37. She has made the New Zealand housing crisis a priority. She's focused on child poverty and social inequality. She gave birth while in office and shortly thereafter led the country through the tragic aftermath of the Christchurch mosque shootings and swiftly introduced strict gun laws thereafter and has been praised for her efficient and successful handling of COVID-19. She became the first New Zealand Prime Minister to march in a pride parade and has recently had a video go viral when she was challenged to list her achievements in the space of two minutes. We'd love to challenge other leaders to do the same. Well done, New Zealand. Until next time, Aluxers. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxers. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos, which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question on our website, alux.com. Thank you for being an Aluxer, and we'll see you back tomorrow.